about is the ongoing drama with concerning Elon Musk at Twitter, which I think is pretty interesting to view from the outside looking in. Because as much as there's a lot of negative around it, oddly enough, having worked in a bunch of startups and no, you know, and kind of having a bit of a pulse on what's going on with some of the founders, having read a few books and listened to a few podcasts and watched a few documentaries and just had a general interest in the startup scene. It's interesting to see how the press and the mainstream media are reporting on these issues going behind the scenes because as you know, heartache breaking as it must be if you're a Twitter employee to have a job one day and then not have it because this your new boss comes in and he's a bit of a maverick, a little bit of a loon, and he decides on a whole new parameters in terms of how you do your job. He just he demands you to kind of work in the office. He demands you to send him code to review. All these sort of things come in place which weren't in place prior when you were there, but now all of a sudden your job your safety net is completely gone, and now you're on your ass because someone this one guy basically is coming and changed all the rules. I understand that's a stressing, but having worked in many startups. One of the main things that I always was aware of was that as soon as you get bought out, you essentially have to anticipate that your job could be gone because the person that's buying you out might have their own vision for the company, which usually leads to the founders leaving because, you know, if you're a founder and you bootstrap the company, it's very difficult to then take you know, advice or notes from essentially your boss if the other company decides to buy you out, which is why they usually leave. And also your subordinates or your employees might also find it difficult to work for this new management structure because they are not used to it or because the demands are too much or whatever. Or it's not a right cultural fit. It happens quite often. But for me, I've never been under any illusion. If somebody buys out the company I'm in or if there's a new managerial structure or new people come in to kind of just manage the company and to lead it, whatever it may be, I have to assume that my job could also be in jeopardy and I have to make adjustments and to make sure that I'm okay. But I thought this was quite interesting, this recent update. It says Elon Musk says Twitter is done with layoffs and is ready to hire again. Twitter had nearly 7,500 employees before Musk took over. Now it has about 2,700. After purging nearly two-thirds of Twitter's 7,500 person workforce in the three weeks, Musk is hiring again. During an all-hands meeting with Twitter employees today, Musk said that the company is done with layoffs and is actively recruiting for roles in engineering and sales and that employees are encouraged to make referrals according to two people who attended a, per, uh, a partial recording obtained by The Verge. His comments were made at the same day that an unspecified wave of cuts hit Twitter's sales department, which has lost almost all of its senior leadership since Musk took over. Another thing to kind of pull from this is that if I'm sure a lot of people who left from that 7,500 were people who left because they're, they're ideologically opposed or politically opposed to Musk's worldview, or they just don't like him as a person, or they maybe thought it was a great time to leave. But a lot of these people have also left because they were being, you know, unmanageable. They were being flipping rude to the boss on Twitter, which was crazy to see, especially after you fired the first couple of people. I think maybe in the beginning, if you didn't know and you wanted to razz Elon on Twitter while being a Twitter employee, cool. But after you saw two or three people get publicly fired, if that was me and I was working there, I would maybe kind of fall in line and kind of just, you know, acquiesce and be like, okay, cool. I understand this guy's wiling a bit. Let me play the game. Let me gather myself. Let me not be too crazy or too hasty and kind of keep moving because I want to make sure I squeeze as much money as I can out of these people before I eventually do get fired. Or you just want to behave to just keep your job in general. I didn't really completely understand that going forward, but it is a pretty bad indictment on the Twitter workforce, right? And the team that, basically Jack Dorsey built before he left that only that only 2,000 sorry only 2,700 of them are left so essentially from the ones that left because they wanted to leave and the ones that got fired it, it basically proves that there wasn't many employees there worth keeping so they were all kind of just you know collecting a check um just for the sake of it because they've been there a long time but they weren't essentially earning their living in any kind of meaningful way and they didn't exactly make themselves indispensable when the new leadership took over which is pretty alarming must didn't specify the kinds of engineering or roles um, twitter was hiring for and the company doesn't currently have any open role listed on its website in terms of critical hires i would say people who are great at writing software are the highest priority he said during the meeting the verge reported last week that twitter recruiters were already reaching out to engineers asked them to join twitter 2.0 and an elon company monday's all hand was the first 
first time Twitter's employees heard from us since he required them to all opt into staying to his extremely hardcore cultural reset, which led to roughly 1,000 resignations last week. While fielding employee questions for about an hour, half an hour from Twitter's San Francisco head office, uh, Musk said that there were no plans to move Twitter's head office to, Twitter, to Texas like he did with Tesla, but it could make sense to build dual headquarters in California and Texas. The funny thing about all of this is that I'm sure there are plenty of people falling over themselves to apply for Twitter 2.0 and to be part of this company. Because essentially, if Elon ends up doing everything that he's promising to do in terms of turning Twitter into a place where content creators like myself can maybe earn some money and create content, maybe he can turn it into a place where people can safely send cryptocurrency or other currency to each other. Maybe it turns into a place where, you know, news is somewhat credible or whatever else it may be the verification thing all of that community building it would be absolutely incredible to see in real time and if you're part of that just imagine what that could do to your cv imagine what that could do to your career and just imagine how exciting and fun it will be to be part of that entire process so as bad as as bad as the pr has been for twitter over the last few weeks and elon maybe hasn't necessarily ingratiated himself with some people out there i still think that there are people who will look at that and think that's a cool challenge to kind of get my teeth into i know i would if i could do software or program whatever it may be i would be flipping first in line applying for a job there because the chances of it working out are maybe slim but if they do god almighty what a great thing to have on your jacket that you was one of the people responsible for leading twitter 2.0 for playing an instrumental part into making this app go to the next level that would be interesting and pretty impressive to see so that's the only concerning thing i think about this whole thing all the bad pr has been one thing and maybe people seeing a different type of leadership in startup world which you don't usually see most startup world is people walking around the office bare bare you know barefooted um you know sitting down on flipping bean bags a lot of hacky sack table tennis free snacks free lunches and dinners and those kind of facebook day in my life you know facebook employees day in my life videos kind of ring to mind but elon musk kind of turns it on the head and does business maybe the old school way in terms of how he runs his companies he wants people to work hard he wants us to stay late he wants them to all be in the office um he's not a fan of you know unnecessary perks and what not just for the sake of it to make people happy he wants everything to be performance based so it's a very kind of throwback way to do a business and to be an entrepreneur especially in the world we're living in now where people are essentially leading with their feelings so it's pretty cool to see what you work in real time or not work in real time and like I said, I'm pretty sure there's going to be plenty of people falling over themselves wanting to apply to get on board with that 